welcome to Delightful, Delicious, Delovely. My name is Christina Lise, and today I am going to be making um, a vegan Szechuan chickpeas. It's very simple. Um, I just want to say at the top, though, that uh, um, all of my recipes, or virtually all of them, have a link below to my blog, so you can go to the blog and see the printed, printable version of the recipe, and you can print it out for your grocery shopping or for your recipe uh, manifesting. Uh, this is super easy. Originally I made this for a slow cooker, but I'm going to do this stove top right now. So uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start with, let's see, uh, a tablespoon of sesame oil. Basically I'm just going to put all the stuff in the pot together and let the sauce thicken and add the chickpeas. It's very, very simple business. Alright, so that's the sesame oil. I need two tablespoons of hoisin sauce. Call that one. Call that two. I need two tablespoons of either some sort of a chili paste, this is chili garlic paste, or sambal olek. This is a sambal olek. I'm using two tablespoons of that. Oops. Two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. One. Two. Five tablespoons of a low sodium soy sauce. I know that one, two, three, four, five. A tablespoon of chopped ginger. If you watch this show, you know I love this stuff. It comes already pre peeled and minced. It's fantastically. Convenient. I prefer it over having to peel and deal with those knobby ginger, fresh ginger. By the way, though, if you don't know this, if you wrap celery in foil in your fridge, it will stay fresh and crisp for months. It doesn't ever get wilted and gross. And the same thing goes, I guess, for fresh ginger. If you wrap it in, in a foil, it will last a long time. Okay. I'm going to add about, about a tablespoon of garlic, four cloves or a tablespoon. That's kind of a to taste thing. In these Asian dishes, I don't mind using jarred minced garlic. I would never use a jarred minced garlic in like in a pasta or Italian dish because the garlic is much more important flavor there. But for Asian dishes, this stuff, again, very convenient and pretty awesome. This is Chinese rice cooking wine, not rice, rice vinegar, but rice wine. I'm going to use two tablespoons of this. Call that one. Call that two. I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of water. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of this is a Chinese five spice. I'm actually going to go with a full teaspoon because why the fuck not? All right, so that was a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. This one's a specifically Szechuan, spicy Szechuan five spice, and it isn't as minced as normal five spice. It's a big, more texture to it, flakier, like a crushed red pepper shape. Uh, and I'm adding a teaspoon of anise pepper. Anise pepper is also Szechuan pepper. I uh, had it whole peppercorns. I just crushed them up in this little mortar and pestle. And a tablespoon of cornstarch. Cornstarch pops everywhere. All right, a tablespoon of corns. I'm going to need a whisk. Of course, I don't fucking have one, so let me get my whisk. Whisk, okay. That's going to thicken up pretty quickly. I'm also going to add one final thing that's pretty. I like my food really hot. These dried, crushed, I mean dried whole red chilies, they're dehydrated red chilies. I'm going to break them in half, put them in here. This is five. That's very, they tend to be very hot. So if you're sensitive to heat, I would start with one and then taste your way up. Also, in the finished dish, don't really eat these. I mean, I guess you could eat them, but I don't know why you would. They're just like bay leaves. They're just in there for flavor and not something you're supposed to actually consume. Where'd my thing go? Here it is. All right, I'm gonna, it's gonna thicken up really quickly. This is two cans, two 15 ounce cans of garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Oops, I made a big mess. I made a mess. And that's really it. Over the heat, this is gonna thicken up and come together. The chickpeas, the longer they sit in this sauce, the more flavor they'll take on but it thickens up pretty good, pretty well and it clings to them. 
And that's really it. You serve, when this is done, serve it with some steamed rice and maybe uh, garnish it with peanuts and some sliced scallions. And that is that. That is my recipe for vegan Szechuan garbanzo beans or chickpeas. So simple, so spicy, so yummy, so inexpensive. So, hope you liked it. This is my uh, Twitter and Instagram handles. Woo! Twitter and Instagram handles. Uh, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up down there if you like these recipes. I uh, don't get a lot of feedback, so sometimes it feels like I'm just putting messages in bottles here and floating them out into the ether, and, and no one's seeing them. So if you'll see them and you like them, please share them, and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, that is that. Until next time. Bye.